Welcome everybody to, well, sort of a new era here as, yes, this is TW9. Um, this is still the trial version. I just haven't gotten to actually buying it. I'm going to buy it because of course I'm, I will always buy it. You know, I know people, some, okay. I know people complain about the cost, but it's $35 for something I'll probably spend like hundreds if I'm not thousands of hours on. So, you know, whatever. Anyway, what we're doing here. So, um, it is trial. I haven't converted any of my saves, any of my saves, including my big WW1. And most importantly, there's not any good mods up yet. Yeah, obviously you can just do a straight conversion of a lot of mods and they seem to be work pretty well as compared to 2020, but there's just enough stuff I want like people to edit to see before I do anything else. So until then, what are we going to do? Well, we're going to start a new series of our own. Um, yeah, okay, yes, I know. So what are we doing? Well, you'll just have to see as we go ahead. I mean, obviously it's sort of spoiled if you look at the title of the video or whatever you know screenshot I created, but hey, what can you do? Um, so the plan here is basically do this, like this is this, I'm not going to say this is a non-serious one because I, I can't do completely goofy playthroughs. I just can't. Anybody who's watching this should know better by now. But what I'm going to do is basically an interesting playthrough. So, um, this will be a sort of a spoiler alert. Um, if that's sort of a like setup thing. But, um, the basic idea here is we're going to be taking over a specific company and we're going to be booking it. I mean, that's how these all are, but we're basically going to do a little bit of fun with the Cornellverse. Um, and I think I just, re I hope I'm using the right database. Otherwise I have to completely restart this. Um, we'll just see. And yeah, I mean, this is, I originally going to do this as stream, but two things came up with that. A, um, bad scheduling by me and B, um, I'm not good at live stuff. And wow, this has taken a while. Okay, yeah, I, I I do think people actually have a point in that I can't take a while. I also heard like part of the way you can fix this is by restarting your game, by restarting your computer, which is also interesting, but regardless, um, lots of processing here, folks. But for once I'm gonna do this like as a total, just like complete, like just like no cuts, no edits, just the, the safe here. Cornellverse, you know what's going on here. Um, I mean, I'll go over more specifically, but what we're doing here is we are not playing as any of these avatars. Sorry. Who are we playing as? Somebody who's unemployed, but connected kind of to the person we're playing. Joy Poison. Um, so he was, became famous for C, where he was a head booker and group star wrestler. He eventually joined CDC, um, but he retired from active competition in 2017 after suffering a major concussion. But, so he's, he's retired. He never wrestles, but he's locked of experience, including experience booking, and he has a booking skill of 85. So I'm going to turn on some preferences here. Um, so for the moment, what I'm going to do here is, um, I think this is all what I'm doing. I'm going to turn on a mandatory event pre-booking just because I like that exists and I need it like, you know, for, for reality. I am going to turn off uh, pro mode. I'm going to turn off scouting though. There we go. Um, sure. And we're going to play as this character. We're going to get rid of the unused characters. And so who are we taking over? Well, there's a company that's rising up, but it needs a change, I think, as it looks to actually start a TV show. And what better way, instead of to bring in a new booker, to begin that era? And that company is Pittsburgh Steel Wrestling. So we're going to play as the booker. Um, we're not going to move any companies. So there we go. We are Joy Poison. We're the new booker. Um, so we need some new storylines. We have enough wrestlers. We have some production company warnings. We'll set to see about that. We have $125,000, which is not great. Um, and we have no TV shows yet. But so the first thing we're doing is booking team wise. So our current alter, so your team includes Mitch Nace, Johnny Martin, and we're going to bring back Alex Perron. So actually, like this actually has a pretty strong booking team, um, but we are going to put Alex Perron back on the team. And so that's our booking team. We'll be gaining plenty of uh, creative energy. So that's the first thing. Uh, next thing. Uh, let's see here, Inner Circle. So Inner Circle right now, locker room leaders. So who are some other people who could possibly lock, be locker room leaders? So we got Said Ali, 
Johnny Martin, some free pin, and Alex Broad. I think um, only because, yes, Saeed Ali, we can add him, and we can add Johnny Martin. So there you go. Uh, Chief Enforcers, I mean, yes. Simone Machine, obviously, is a big one, even though he's 40. Let's see here if there's anybody else um, who could be possibly it. Um, Dumfrey Penn, sure. You get in there as the uh, Chief Enforcer. Head of Talent Relations. Um, honestly, Mitch, you're in charge here. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Um, hey, Alex, you used to be Booker. You can be Head of Talent Relations now. Morale Officer. Let's see here. Um, honestly, Carl Batch, you seem like a cool guy. You can be the Morale Officer. A senior road agent. He's just the better road agent, sure. Okay. And our senior referee is uh, going to be Ryan Holland, of course. And our head men's trainer, even though we don't have any wrestlers really. Let's put Johnny Martin in there. Um, no stooges, no women's trainer because we don't have any women, and there we go. All right, so, um, product wise, we are hardcore, we are extreme hardcore. So, um, I might actually start to slightly change this as sort of like the underlying story here. But right now, we have uh, rabbit fans will really get into high quality wrestling and will violently turn against poor quality wrestling. So, no crappy wrestlers. Um, match events are 85 matches, 15% angles. TV shows are 75% matches, 25% angles. A hardcore style, high level of general wear and tear. So, yeah. Open minded, less than 15 minutes. We can't have lengthy matches. Um, no cheap endings, but plenty of interference, obviously. Uh, mildly penalized for eye candy matches. Ultra, ultra dangerous matches, so no glass or explosive matches. Um, all workers need a gimmick. Fans need on story selling lines. We need one hard car, one wild brawl, one mayhem. Um, fan base will be very opinionated, difficult to attach sponsors, and we can hire uh, people with background in adult entertainment. So there we go. So there's going to be an underlying storyline here, but we're not going to start it yet. And, you know, right now as it goes. So other important things, broadcasting. Right now we're in Russell World. Yay. The other thing is our events, you know, we have New Year's Revolution, Highway to Hell, Steel City Starfest, Hardcore Revolution, Lockdown, um, let's see, we've got a Battle Royal, let's see here, 4 versus 4 bout, Endgame, I think still, yes, Steel City Starfest, is there not a end of the year show? No, okay, that's interesting. Well, Homecoming is our, our season finale, okay, so, um, backstage-wise, we got a uh, poor mock, okay, so, nope, I mean... We can at least transport is, or is organized, and yeah, there we go. I mean, yeah, I, I'd imagine. I mean, would no smoking make it worse? About the same. Okay. Um, I mean, sorry, we can't pay for this stuff just because. So yeah, we'll see who's causing problems and who we might, we might got rid of. Uh, let's see, absences, nobody absent. Um, and yeah, anyway, if so, Vince TV, you know, Steel City Smash is a TV show. As a TV show, we might want to bring back, but we will not be bringing back until after our first event. Um, investments, so yeah, we could purchase a title belt, invest in a new training belt ability, invest in a new company, but we have no money, so that's a problem. Uh, ticket prices. Honestly, we are okay, so we can just keep it at normal. And our size right now, so we're 42 in the tri-state, 45 in New England, and small everywhere else. But hey, we're in Russell, so, you know, we we everywhere. Um, Russell-wise. So let's go over this. Well, first, our titles. So our titles, we have the championship, which is Logan Wolfsbane, who we'll go over in a minute. He's held the title since June of last year. We have the national title, Austin Smooth. He was, won the title basically in November. 
It's interesting it says long runs, but all the runs here are basically like nine months. And our tag team titles is Death Wish is on Boy since October. So that's interesting. So again, we, we look at our roster. We look at our perception, and we start with major stars. So we have Ernest Youngman, who is freaking great. Like, you know, uh, very charismatic, great in the ring. Um, you know, basics, selling, all that good stuff. Um, he's pretty over, at least in the tri-state. And, you know, he has the assassin gimmick and he's managing Venus and Jolly. And remember the Steel Circle, which I'll go over a minute. Remember Logan's Wolfbane, who's a face, glorious. Um, you know, skills, you know, brawling, Paresu, technical, all that good stuff. Good star quality. Um, not great on the mic, but it is what it is. So there you go. Uh, I expect both of these guys to probably get snatched pretty quickly. So star-wise, Mitch Nice, and that's it. So we're beginning to see our problem here. Well-knowns. So well-knowns, we got uh, Alex Braun, who's retired. Johnny Martin, who's retired. Venus Angeletti, who is um, Ernest Youngman's, you know, manager. And Xavier Farrell, who's actually a pretty... Young wrestler, 27, cool baby face, um, flashy with some decent psychology and pretty okay thoughts otherwise, but he's charismatic and has some good microphone skills and some star quality, and he's getting there as far, as far as popularity goes. But again, you're beginning to see the issue here. Like, they're growing, but they have, but it's very, very, very top-heavy because we go down to recognizable, and this is where a lot of the roster is. So, so we got uh, Acid 2. Who's of course, you know, the uh basically, you know, the heir to the original acid. He's uh 31. You know, he's acid, so he's good at aerial and flashy stuff. Decently popular, and you get in there everywhere else. Austin Smooth. He, you know, he uh pretty decent guy. Uh, you know, pretty decent stats, especially for technical. Get in there as far as charisma and microphone, has some sex appeal, um, and you know, getting someone over. So there we go. A Carl Batch, of course, manager. He manages Cerebus, who's honestly a decent mid-card heel, but that's about it. And honestly, like, Batch's, what are Batch's skills? I mean, honestly, I might have to think about expanding him, because he could help some, with some other people. Um, Cowboy Buck Winchester. Um, yeah, former RIPW guy, and now just part of the, the mid-card as a Lariat machine. So, you know, your PSW version of Stan Hansen. A Death Wish... And Zomboy, our parts of the Legion of Blood, and yeah. Zomboy, X-Factor, so Darby Allen, I guess. Um, flashiness, ha some hardcore skills, charisma, no microphone, no acting skills. And Death Wish is, I mean, Death Wish is sort of meh outside of charisma. Uh, Devil Dog, remember with Pin Enterprises Limited. Um, yeah, hardcore, and that's about it. Dumb free pen. Um, so yeah, okay, right. So he's originally from Australia. Um, and yeah, basically showed up, and he's a yeah, decent little heel guy, mm, has some issues as far as his body, but yeah, he's basically a, I mean, he's going to basically probably become more of a part time guy pretty quickly. Uh, Hector Galanando is with, of course, of the Latino Kings. Um, Jesus Chavez, they're both formerly from uh, PSW, but now they're up in Dave. So yeah, J J Jordan and Idol, members of Steel Circle, heals the, the, you know, that tag team. Um, in most games, I get, I'm guessing they get picked up, you know, if you're playing as a SW or TCW or ACW, but, you know, not in this real world. Uh, Jebediah, um... Yeah, he's a mid-card gimmick. I mean, not terrible, hot, you know, not ter terrible, but like, yeah, you know. Uh, Kami Ling, he's a uh, yeah non-wrestler manager, it looks like. So yeah, it is what it is. Arm Stones, Rhino, and Simone Machine. These guys are both getting up there as far as age goes, but they're still pretty decent in the ring. Uh, Rudy Valquez, another member of the Latino Kings. Uh, Sierra Lee, he's, you know, a former, he's a mid-carter, 
but he's getting older, but he's really good as far as, like, important stuff. So he can be, like, sort of, like, a permanent part of, like, the hardcore mid-card. Uh, stuntman, young guy, over from England. I guess he's 29. Um, but, yeah, he's... I mean, he seems one of those guys who's, who, unfortunately, has been, like, in the same place forever and would have moved around, but doesn't actually get anywhere. What is what it is? Teddy Pal, the guy. Um, yeah, because this is workhorses. Um... Not really high flyer anymore, just sort of a guy. Wicked Lester. Guessing leader of Le Legion of Blood. And yeah, decent charisma. Meh, everything else. I mean, he's not terrible. He's not great either. Uh, Xavier Reckless. So yeah, I mean, he's basically a very good wrestler now. Then we go to the unimportant folks. Which includes Antics, who's just like, you know, old now. Uh, Chip Martin, who is a um, face, son of a legend. The son of, oh, he's Johnny Martin's son. Okay, there we go. That That's who he was. All right. Um, Dustin Deuce, uh, originally from Miami Beach. He's like, he looks like he has some something to him. Um, not great microphone, but he is what it is. Uh, Calder Tag. Uh, so, I mean, I, I don't want to say our jobber tag team, but kind of a jobber tag team. And then Vendetta. Uh, I mean, he's been here forever, and but he's not good at anything else. So that is what it is. And I think that's everybody. Let me just see if there's any to be decided. Okay, Joy Poison, but like, yeah. He's here. Let's see. Do I have any actual skills? I, I guess I could be a color guy. Um, so yeah, that's sort of the roster. If you look at our storylines, we have All Hells Breaking Loose. Uh, basically, like, two, like, yeah, the two tag teams. Let me look at our product real quick. Let's see here. Product. Okay, loosely enforced. Okay. That's basically what I want, because ECW had stuff like that. Um, anyway, so we, we got that feud. We have Easy Money versus Pin. So we have, like, Austin Smooth. Right. Okay, so Pin wants to get back the, the title that he won. All right. And Vista Circle. And, yeah. All right. So... If we look at our stables, we have the Steel Circle, which is Youngman, Jordan, Idol with Venus. We have Legion of Blood, which is Lester, Deathwish, and Zomboy. The Latino Kings. And Pyme Enterprises, which is all of these folks. All right. Um, so yeah. So based on that, what we're going to do for the booking of New Year's Revolution is this. Either. Okay, so we're going to start with the banger of Ernie Youngman versus Logan Wolfsbane Spain for the belt. Then we're going to have the big tag team match. Oops. I'll probably f like change these to actual like gimmick matches when I get to the show itself. So we got. Devil May Care versus the Blood Soldiers for the World Tag Team titles. Or I guess not the World Tag Team, but the uh, Tag Team titles. And then the other match I want to do here is a two-on-two -two match. And it's going to be the heels of Dumfrey Pin and the Double Dog versus the baby faces of Austin Smooth. And let's see here. Who's a well-known? Okay. Xavier Fura. They seem like they, they, they work well together. Um. So, yeah. I think these can be the announced matches and everything else we can book at the time. So, um, let's see. Backstage, finance, um, as always, with these companies. Immediately start increasing the merch. House shows, production, okay, let's see here. Russell World. Um, so we're at, so let's see, what's going on? So NYCW has better, okay. So, and, well, okay, I guess RIPW is really the problem here. Um, so yeah, RPW, I guess, is like, yeah, the problem here, which they really shouldn't be, but I'll, I'll take that for the moment. 
because like, yeah, we're not going to do any better uh, as far as money goes. So we got teams, um, titles, tournaments, roster, product, inner circle, uh, figurehead, mm -hmm. yeah. And then, so yeah, I think that's good. House shows, owner goals. We'll go for it away just to get our owner goals from old uh, Mitch Nace, and then we'll go on probably to the first show here. As this loads up. You can probably skip forward about a minute if you don't want to continue to look at the screen. As you look at Latino Fear, he's interesting. Um, the thing is, like, I actually do want to like see if we can find any new folks. But I just want to like get some like legitimate, like you know, basically stuff we people we can't hire, just in case. Okay, so let's look at our new goals. Our new goals include. Let's see here. I mean, okay, so we can't pull full souls. Uh, no reputation extensions and. No high flyers. Okay, so if you notice, we sort of like have a like an, a like a, a big gap here, because if you look at our uh, okay, so if you look at our any active wrestlers, basically in the tri-state, thirty and above, it's these three guys, and then if you look at 20 to 29. So yeah, so we need like some more like over people. And I think actually if you look at like 26 to 30. So I think Zavi is basically right at 30. Yeah, so these are sort of like our upper mid card folks. But then like if you go to It's just Zavi. So that's sort of the big thing here. And then if we look at 36 to 40. There's nobody. So that's a spot I want to like look to see if we can find anybody. So if we search and we say um, any male active wrestler, let's say under 40. Um, who can, just because we don't want to like pay. And then the tri-state, 31 to 40. First, let's just see what's like our initial like just list. So see our, our immediate problem here is there's not that many people like at that level. So then if we just double check our reputation, uh, where are they? I'm just being blank. Yeah, okay, so just in case. So we got Knuckles and Shady K, who we could bring in basically to put over some folks to bring in, like sort of like to make like to bring them in with these folks. We have Tennessee Williams, who we could bring in again as sort of like a, a good heel. I have Antonio Del Vecchio, who actually is pretty solid. So actually, I'm going to talk to him. So negotiate. Um, sure. Let's just say 175. And there you go. So we'll bring in Antonio in, and I think what we'll do is we'll bring in Knuckles and Shady K, and we'll see um, how well they're willing to do some do some jobs. Sure, here here's thirty percent for all the t-shirts you're not going to. Wait, what's your rival offers? Oh, oh my God, USPW doubling down on the. Uh, okay, so there you go. Um, so here we'll bring in Tennessee. Are you not over? Okay, no, you're just really cheap. Okay. I mean, that's fine. I'm just like, wow, you're very cheap. Okay. So let's see who like within like who can be like sort of like some temporary main eventers. Okay, so nobody. I should make sure I didn't include. Okay, right. This is any. Um. So this then leads me to my next thing, which is let's see. So we have these folks, we can add them to the roster, but that's basically it. 
So what I'm going to do from here is move forward. Um, basically until a couple days before our show, I'm sure we'll get stopped for some signings. But I'll be back with that in just a second, because obviously I'm just going to, I'm not going to make you look, wait through a bunch of like just days going forward. So I'll be back probably with a signing here in a little bit. All right, um, we're back. So for some news, as good as it gets, so they get a second show. Great. And welcome to USP, to PSW. And there's one other group of folks I wanted to look for. And that is this. Any female, any status, reputation. Well, non wrestler. Sex appeal. So we got some interesting people we could we could sign. And if we really wanted to push it. This is a very easy to thing to do, but we're going to do it. Um, so. So we'll sign her. We'll sign her. And we will drop down. And let's see here. All right. Ah, okay, that's what I thought. So, hey, listen to, well, okay. I'm going to be somewhat realistic here and say somebody who's working for RIPW would not work for PSW. But for everyone please, come on down. All right, so we got that, we got Tennessee Williams, and I'll be back in a moment with the next set of sightings. And we got Antonio, and then we just got our woman waiting. So we'll be back with those sightings in hopefully a couple days here, and then we'll set everything else up here. Also, Brent Hill and Joy Bryant are getting along, which makes sense because they're basically the same guy. So yeah, let's just move forward to the 15th and we'll see what we get back for signings. All right, we are back. Um, I'll go over the roster and settings specifically in a minute here, but um, we are adding PSW Steel City Smash as a TV show, but I'll get to that in a moment because we're going to tape it four days at a time. We're going to tape it on Fridays. Well, actually our shows are usually on Friday, so we're going to tape it on uh, Saturdays. No, yeah, we are taping, so, sorry, uh, I, I mean, break that here. We are, we are going to tape it on Monday, because this is the day after the show right now. We, it'll be shown on Saturdays, and we're taping four shows at a time, and yeah, there we go. So that's that. Um, so for the signings, we have signed, like I said, four non-wrestlers. They are Amara, who is um, has some charisma. He's working microphone skills, but has some star quality and some sexy appeal. Um, so that's that. We have May Poison, the former Five Year Malays, who's been a given a gimmick as Poison's niece, which I actually need to show here. So hold on, let me change her gimmick, which I thought I just did. So yeah, gimmick details. So we'll just her gimmick change to Joy's niece. There we 
Dirt, there we go. All right. We have Raquel Morales, who's a um, decent charisma, needs to work on microphone, but good scar quality, good sex appeal. And Marina Del Rey, who actually has good charisma, decent microphone, lots of sex appeal, good star quality, and she's coming as a heel. The other women are coming as faces, and we'll explain all that in just a moment here. But um, also some other signings will show up next. But next will be Homecoming, which I'll go over the booking, and then we'll go over the results of. All right, we're here, so I'll start from the start um, as we do the whole booking and everything of the show along with the results. So, um, ultra event details. Hold on, I just make sure. Um, just so we can show booking both two, two and a half hours. So, given the night off, we're not going to give anybody the night off tonight just because I don't not want to cruise in the church while I'm booking. So, we'll move past that. Our venue and location, of course, we are at the PSW Arena. Boom, finalize our broadcasters. We are on Wrestle War. Booking team meeting. So we so here's our booking team. Joy Poison gets 70, Mitch Nace gets 45. Um, Joy Martin gets 49, Ox Brown gets 39. So we are going to spend some creative energy. And we're going to do one, one Austin Smooth Korea finish. My rule is going to be for this series is no unused creative energy. Or at least as much as we can, well, you know, basically. So gimmick idea. So there we go. The gamble of a gimmick. And then we are going to give an angle idea, a surefire hit of an angle idea. So as far as this like thing goes, I wish it was a little more in depth, but I don't mind it. Um, so locker room incidents. So Reese Hogg, um, sorry, sorry, buddy. Um, sure. As it was brought before wrestlers court, Johnny Martin found guilty and positive impact. Um, stuntman and more officer Carl Batch had some heat. Okay. Service almost got a fight with Death Wish. Um, chose response with stern warning. Good for him. And then Wookie Lester pulled a taser's rib. You got a slap on the wrist. Uh, May wow, okay. Wow, May, you're here for one day and you're already dating Austin Booth. Good job. Um, he did some basic safety for Devil Dog, Death With, Calder Tag. Okay, good job for you. And okay, interesting. Our segment and Wolfie Tiger buddies. And then we address the locker room. So we are going to do an inspiration speech, just a hey, first speech of the Joy Poison era. All right, so. Oops. So we're going to do our booking and we're going to start out with an interesting booking. So we are going to start with your friend and mine, Mitch Nace in the ring. Or no, actually, so yeah, actually, no, actually, yeah. So just Alex Braun on the mic for this, as it is going to be. Nace announces TV show. Joey Poison shows up. All right, so. So. We're going to start with Mitch Nace in the ring. As he's going to be cutting a promo, basically announcing the TV show. Uh, and then, so. So there we go. And then we'll have Joey po Poison showing up. Oh, God damn it. I forgot. I have, like, yeah. Okay. Mitch Nace announces TV show. That's three minutes. Save the details. Add a new part. Copy the workers from this part. Paste the workers from this part. 
Joy Poison is here. And then, so, Mitch can be working the crowd. Joy Poison can be... Uh, let's see here. He can be not speaking appearance. And May Poison can also be here. So this is just like, they're here. So paste the workers from this part. Paste the workers from part two. And then Joy introduces his niece and announces being part of PSW and announce team. So that's two minutes. And we can check Joey. Do cutting a promo. Actually, let's say working the crowd. Uh, May poison. Let's, I mean, let's just be honest here. Some sex appeal. So, and announce and introduce his niece, May Poison, and that he's now part of the announced team. So, um, oops. Really is part of announced team. Intros his niece. So there we go, segment. Okay, so now we're going to book in the stuff I know is actually happening. So we're booking first Ernest Logan versus um, Logan Wolf Spain. So Ernest, I should know his skills. So stamina wise, he's at a 92. Logan, I'm sure you're at a solid 92. Let's see, Logan, okay, so stamina, he's at a 70. Okay, so these guys can go for a solid 18 minutes. Staff wise, we are putting Johnny Martin on this. PSW Championship is on the line. This is a regular match. Or actually, with this, yeah, this is a, yeah, regular match. The victor is going to be Logos Wolfbane. It's going to be an open match, a slow build. Can these guys actually call it? Uh, okay, so his psych's at a 77. I'm going to guess Logan can't. Yeah, Logan's not quite there. So, but despite, like, you know, this is still plenty, okay, so plenty of interference. So, uh, we're going to have Ernest Youngman. Then we're going to have, of course, Minas. That's going to be a clean win for Logan Wolfsbane. There we go. So then we're going to have our tag title match, which, let me see here is going to be our car crash. We're going to go 14 minutes. Titles are on the line. So how long have, let's see, how long have they held title titles been since October? I don't mind, I had a quick switch here. So this is going to be a car crash. Acid 2 gets the win over Zomboy. Open match. Clean win. Pinfall. There we go. Straightforward. Then we're going to have Dunfrey Pin and Devil Dog versus Austin Smooth and Zavi Ferreira. Back to the booking sheet. Okay, so let's just double check their smooth. So Austin's brawling. Okay, so maybe some, yeah, brawling. Uh, let's see, Devil Dog. He's okay. Yeah. Zavi's okay. So this can be a hardcore match. Um, it'll go 11 minutes.
but we're going to have Zavi get the pin over Devil Dog. Open match. Basically a clean win. Pinfall. And we'll do the rest of this, like what the aftermath is afterwards. So. So looking at the rest of our show, we need, I think we need a big tag match, a big tag ramble, and yeah, so first let's do this to set up our next contenders for the tag team titles. Let's do a three-way tag. Exclude already booked, so we can do the rich and famous. Versus Lindo Santos, versus the Samoan Machines. Actually, let me actually expand this out to a four-way tag. We'll add reckless. Well, okay, yeah, their heels. Uh, let's see here. And we're going to add a new match because I don't know why. Yeah, this is elimination rules. Uh, staff, we'll go with Alex Broad on this one. And, oops, come on. So your victors getting the title shot next are going to be the heels of Jackpot Jordan. So your first elimination will be Antics. Second elimination will be Simone, will be Rhino Moga, and third elimination will be your friend and mine. Hector Galeando. Um, we'll throw on the Wild Brawl note for this. Open match. Clean win. Pinfall win. There we go. So, good stuff. And we'll continue to add the angles here. So, um, let's see here. Booking analysis. So. Getting pretty quickly down to the level here. So, um, time for a fun little wacky match. So, we can have R. Vendetta. Ooh, yeah, just basically a, a, a hardcore type can. Ooh, let me see here. I forget who's like actually young here. Um, Wicked Lester. Okay, there we go. Wicked Lester gets the win here. Pretty much a straight up, like, I don't say like a squash, but it is what it is. And Wicked Lester goes over. So again, we look at our, okay, so. The long gore heater is we're going to push the younger guys at the expense of the older guys. Um, so. Unfortunately, this means some losses for people I like and some wins for people I don't like. Um, so. Tennessee Williams make it, will make his debut here. And he'll also get a win. Uh, let's see here, skills wise. Yeah. We'll save that. It is going to go eight minutes. I see Williams, we'll go over. Let's see here, it can be a wild brawl. 
a clean win, a pinfall win, There we go. All right. Let's see here. Who can be the next up heel? Okay. Um. Yeah. In a bit of a punishment, Rudy just goes over service here. Let me just also make sure. Are you? Yeah, let's make you also Rudy's manager. There we go. So there we go. We're also going to have a tag match here as Wolfie and Calder. They got a couple of baby faces in the form of Dustin Deuce and the young Chip Martin. Calder tag gets the win over Dustin Deuce in an open match. With the help of Venus, a double checker product. Um, okay, so we can do tainted ones. We we just can't do count of thirty keys, which makes sense because this is easy to be light. Okay. Uh, singles match, tag match, singles, singles, big tag match, big tag match. Okay, so actually we can do that. Uh, actually, we can do this. Mm. Actually, Rudy, yeah, there we go. And then we can do Jebediah versus Tennessee Williams. There you go, Austin Smooth. Okay, so. Who still isn't booked tonight? Okay, so Antonio, but he's debuting. Um, and then sort of like our lower card heels. Um, who can be off the show, honestly? Like, I have no reason for CA, Teddy, or Cowboy to be on here. So it is what it is. So, okay. So now we need to build up some angles. So first thing is we have A. And... I think this is something people miss is there's this quick ad angle here so you can do just like regular promos without like it being too wacky so we're going to do a in-ring promo where we have wicked lester and then we also have uh god hold on who's the scary heels who's the scary heels Is it, hold on, I'm terrible. Yeah, it is Zomboy, okay, yeah. So Zomboy, who is a background player. Yeah. And then uh, who's the other guy, uh, Deathwish? Well, let me just double check, like if they have like any skills at all we can use in this promo. Ah, uh, Charisma. Charisma, all right. Basically sending a warning to Acid 2 and uh, God. Who's the other guy? Who's the other flying guy? You think I would be better at this? Right, okay, with Stuntman, all right, so. And this can go three minutes as Legion pre-match promo. All 
Okay. Um, let's see here. Well, I just want to double check. Jebedai is, is a, is a, he is a, okay, yeah. So, Tennessee Williams debuts, Jebediah breaks up his concert. So, Tennessee Williams in ring. And this is just like Tennessee Williams making his debut, cutting a promo, being an annoying asshole. Then we add a new part. And then we have Jebediah showing up to basically, you know, Jebediah interrupts, matches on. go okay so yeah Jebediah can show up there we go um, okay Actually, is there any other pre-match angles um, not really yeah I think that's about it so post-match stuff all right Well, okay, actually, yeah, we got pre-match main event, pre-main event shenanigans. So we start out with Ernest Youngman and Venus in ring. And Venus is there, working the crowd, and of course, there we go. So save that details. Then we're adding a new point. Copy the Parkers number one. Logan comes out, intros his equalizer. Amara. All right, so and we got Logan cutting a promo. And we got Amara basically coming in as a cameo right at the end. And there we go. Segment. And yeah, so far so good. Premium and Stanigans. Uh, Double my care, Blood Soldiers. Okay, yeah. So, go for match angle, which is building something. Which hold on me. At an angle here. In the ring. Carl Batch. Upset at service. And this can go three minutes. Okay. And yeah, we can just now do some quick edit, quick edit angles. Okay, Lester does a beat down here.
tags. Celebrate. We got Walter. Oh, yeah. Well, what's the name of his brother? Calder. There we go. And then. Oops. I changed up the one. There we go. Okay. Oh, wait, nope. Sorry, I totally forgot that's that's the wrong team. I need to fix that. Okay, rich and famous celebrate, right? Uh, okay. Hold on, I need to fix that now because I totally forgot it's the wrong people. This is, they're not right. Okay, so this is actually a Venus. So yeah, hold on, let me. Venus. Uh. Remove, there we go. And then we, yeah, it is this guy who's right. Okay. There we go. That's much better. That's the actual stable they're part of. All right. So, uh, so yeah, now we can do rich and famous. Again, still getting used to all this. There we go, Jebediah. Right, okay, so then we got another quick angle. As a double dog. Them free, promo double dog, basically looking scary, and then Zabby and Austin Smooth responding. This can go four minutes as a bit of a test. Then have a quick angle here. As Rudy introduces Raquel. Again, quick little two minute angle just before the match. Have a quick angle after the tag match where Smooth and Zabby escape. All 
as dumb free pin. Uh, double dog. Calder and Wolfie all show up. I go ahead and quick little two minute thing afterwards, after they get the win here. You have a quick little angle. Uh, double make hair. Double make hair. Celebrate. Okay. I think only because I want to build something up for the for the next show. Um, we won't build anything. Okay, yeah. I think that's where it works. Um, so Austin Smooth. All right. So actually, sorry, Zavi. Austin Smooth gets the win here. And we use his creative finish. And one other thing, we needed a. So let's do this with just as a test with May. Uh, There we go. All right, so we're all set. Um, one hour, like, yeah, it's a very solid show here, two and a half hours. Um, we're on Wrestle World, PS2 New Year's Revolution. So let's get rolling with the show itself. Um, let me just double, actually, let's do this for six. Yeah, this should be. There we go. Okay, so one more thing. So here we go. In front of 1,500 people at the BSW Arena in beautiful, I think, Pittsburgh, PA. So we start with Mitch Nace, of course, announcing the TV show. Joy Poison showing up and enjoying Nace May Poison. And he's now part of the announce team. This gets a 41. The first part got a 43. Joy Poison showing up got a 20. He's got a 39. Um, let's see here. So Joy Poison's lovable weirdo. Got a gimmick. Uh, very good. And here is Joy's niece gimmick. Got a rating of poor. But boost of charisma during matches and angles, so that should helpfully help things. Then we're going to our opening match. Crowdy is how Cotton Rising, segment rating of 41. So we got a awful three-minute interview, that's unfortunate, where we got Death With working the crowd, Wick Lester cutting a promo, some boy working the crowd. Um, so this got a 27. Yikes. Um Okay, so you were supposed to be just okay, I guess this should have been background players. You live, you live and learn, you learn. Um, yeah. So, still 27, not terrible. The crowd is still hot. As we move forward. So, we're at Wicked Lester defeating Vendetta in 710 with a flying elbow drop. This gets a 44 overall. Uh, wrestling rating gets a 40. Crowd rating of 25. Same rating overall of 44, and the crowd is still hot. Uh, Wicked Lester's physical condition and consistency. Yeah, it is what it is. This is all. 44 is not bad. And we move forward. The beatdown gets a 44 as well. Moving forward, we got the, basically a fun little tag match here as the Hot Tags defeat Dustin Deuce and Chip Martin in 655. One called our tag defeat Dustin Deuce with the Montana Slammer falling under France from... It's okay, this should be um, not... This should be Dip, not uh, Venus and Jelly. Ignore that. Um, So, uh, Wolfie Tag and Cami Ling are a poor combination. That's unfortunate. Okay, so it should have been Cami. Okay, I keep on forgetting right, that's the actual team here. Um, So, Wolfie gets a 45. Uh, Calder gets a 45, Wolfie gets a 40, Chipmark gets a 37, Dustin News gets a 27. Not bad, 37 overall, crowd rating of 18, segment rating of 43. And post-match, the heel celebrate to a 28. 
Then we have our big four-way tag match for the um, basically number one contender shot. And Rich and Famous get the win over Glenn Dew and Chavez, someone just written ink. And Reckless Antics, Reckless Antics are eliminated first, then someone just written ink. And then Glenn Dew and Chavez, 46 wrestling rating, 26 cover rating, 54 overall. Idol gets a 55, Jack Rob Gordon gets a 42, Jesus gets a 47, Hector gets a 38, Simone Machine gets a 49, Umaga gets a 43, Antic gets a 35, Saver gets a 52. Uh, let's see here. Good stuff. And yeah. And of course, the heel celebrate afterwards. Oops, I. This should be Venus, not Vendetta. This gets still gets a 41. Not bad. Then we have Tenny William making his debut, you know, doing his heel stick. Java to die, breaking th coming up to break things up. This gets a 52. Uh, Chase Williams music suggestion game gets a rating of 52. Uh, part two got a 45 because Java die is not the best, but good stuff here. And yeah, small boost to star quality, penalty to charisma. That's unfortunate. And the actual match would get a freaking 65. Okay, banger. Java die gets a 40. Chase Williams gets a 70. A uh, handful of tights because he's a heel. Good stuff, 65. And yeah, this might be my new top heel here. Then we have a pin and devil dog promo. We'll probably just pin, you know, doing his usual heel stick here. Um, Austin and devil dog, uh, Austin and Zavi come out to respawn. This gets a 38, not bad. And then we get the actual match. It gets a 51, creative finish was a success. Uh, Smooth and Zavi gets the win when they pin devil dog. Rating gets a 44, crowd rating of 27, Sake rating 51 overall. Devil dog gets a 41, pin gets a 30, Zavi gets a 54. Austin Moon gets a 52. Good stuff. And post-match, the heels run away. I mean, the Bay Faces get escape through the crowd as the heels chase after him. This gets a 41. And the, you know, basically the feud continues here at New Year's Revolution. Post-match, oof. Okay, that's unfortunate. So Rudy introduces Raquel as basically his backup, you know, his, the, you know, the, the queen of the gang, 28. Her gimmick got an awful... Could be worse. And then the match itself, Rudy defeats Cerebus with the street cutter. Uh, Wrestling rating 47, crowd rating 25, Sigma rating 51. Rudy gets a 54, Cerebus gets a 40. Good stuff. It's pretty straightforward win. Cerebus is basically being punished for ca almost causing the fight. And post match, Carl Batch sort of yells at Cerebus. Um, this gets a 29. I should have picked Intimidation, not Interviewer. Then we have our tag team title match. As in a decent match, Devil May Care defeated Blitz Soldiers in 1359. When Acid 2 pins Zombie with the Acid Rig Bomb. Um, they win the tag titles. 44, 25, 50 overall. Very hot. So, something gets a 51. Acid Rig gets a 52. Zombie gets a 42. Death Wish gets a 30. Let's see, was there anybody hurt by the type of match this was? Um, No, okay. Still. Good match. And then post match. The AFA Celebrate gets a 31, as they are the new Tag Team Champs. And then we have our basically setup promo as Ernest Young comes out. Oh, god damn it. I picked Vendetta again. This should be Venus. Why did I? Okay, that's th this is just my bad. Um, but then, you know, Logan comes out, introduces Zamara. 51, 43. I mean, uh, Lo Ernest is the better promo guy. Um, yeah, so Amara gets an adequate... At least I picked the right thing here. So, really great match. Um, match was a little long. I mean, okay. Still 71, crowding 45, overall 77. Young gets a 79, Wolfskin gets a 63. These guys are so getting stolen as soon as they're on TV. Um, dirt cheat, let's see here. Anything else of note? Um, so, Rainy was, yeah. Long, not suitable for a face, but it's a legendary, so it is what it is. So, overall, we got us a 62. Good stuff. Um, okay, so... Obviously, Logan, Ernest, please don't leave. But honestly, also, um, who did better than I expected? Honestly, Zabby. Or not, not Zabby, but Xavier or close. You got a 52. So, good, good job by you. We gained 13,000, not bad. Popular recap. Okay, so we gained a point in a lot of places. Um, so there we go. And there we go. So 
we'll go over the news here, um, and that'll be it, I think, for our first show here. Obviously, future episodes will be a little shorter because we'll just be doing the booking of the actual show, along with any news about like what's been going on. And let's see here. As this loads up. Loading. Okay, Magnum Cody got injured. That's unfortunate for him. So we got 32,000 viewers, but yeah, everything else is just people doing. So there we are. Um, Storyline wise, so a little cold, very hot, extremely hot. So there we go. Easy money versus pins hot. This is hot. And so this. Great. Um, so that's it for now. Um, the next show will be, I think, the booking of our first set of TV tapings, and then we'll go from there. But that's it for now. If you enjoyed this, go ahead and give it a like. Comment below what you're liking and not liking. Subscribe to the channel for this. And um, my WCW series is not dead. Um, I'll be making some choices as far as what to do as far as like its future, as far as moving it over. And I'll give you guys some like options as far as what you want to do. But that's for now. Talk later and adios. Have a good one.